Hello everyone, uh, this is Forrest with a quick introduction about how to edit pages on the new TMS Wiki. Uh, I'm really glad that you're taking the time to watch this because we're going to need some help as we move over. Uh, I've written a software package called Greta, which is dragged over all 680 pages on the TMS Wiki over to this new version. The problem is that like my dog Greta, it's named after my dog. Uh, it's not a very smart software package, and it makes all these little crazy mistakes that a human wouldn't make. And we're going to need people to go through and look at the most important pages and make sure that those mistakes are fixed. Now, most of the mistakes don't matter, um, but we still need to look at this, and we're going to need some help. So thank you for watching, um, and thank you always for your support. Uh, so... In addition, so this is going to be a big transition because we're, we're moving from one way of doing things, uh, the way that wet paint does things, it's going out of business, uh, to the way that Wikipedia does things. And uh, they're backed by a nonprofit that makes, you know, gets $10 million of donations every year, more than that, $15 million. Um, and they have tens of millions of contributors. Um, it's really a move up. Uh, and I'm really excited about some, this. I've, I've always really wanted to switch to the MediaWiki software. Um, but it is going to involve a little bit of a learning curve because it's it's different. Um, and I've thought about it. the best way to explain how it's different is to think a little bit to start with uh, about how um, how computers think about the information that we have in a wiki page. And the first thing to note is that what they care about mostly is text, the words. They also care a little bit about formatting. Like, you've got these words general thoughts, but MediaWiki, the software, the program, needs to know that general thoughts is a heading so that it can format it appropriately. It needs to know that past or childhood events is a subheading so it can format it appropriately, and it needs to put these bullet points here uh, so that it can format that appropriately. So, in wet paint, um, it tried to it 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 didn't allow you to control what was going on very much, but MediaWiki is designed uh, to be a more powerful program, and so it allows you to control those things so that you can present the stuff that your visitors will really like. So keep that in the background for now. Simple question: How do you edit the page? You edit the page by clicking on the Edit button, which is what I'm going to do right now. So you click on the edit button. Currently we're hosted on GoDaddy. We're going to be moving over to a new host, which will be a little bit faster. Um, so I'm excited about that. But finally the page pops up. And you'll see the exact same text that we had before. Uh, but you'll see that the way that it represents that general thoughts is a section heading is through these equal signs. And that's really what I want to teach you. Now you may forget about the equal signs, and I encourage you, take some notes as you watch this video, because your notes are always more helpful. But if you forget the notes, you can use this thing up here. Uh, it's a reference for how to insert the wiki text, um, and it can be helpful too. I'll show you how to use it. So anyway, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to resize the window. You don't need to see this stuff over here, so I'm going to take it off the screen. Uh, and then this text here, I want you to see the wiki page at the same time as that text. So I'm going to put that text over in this window over here. So this is the same as this. And then I'm going to hit the back button so that you can see the actual final page here. So this is the actual wiki page and this is the text behind it. In TMS patients, chronic pain. In TMS patients, chronic pain, blah, blah, blah. And like I said, the first thing we're going to talk about is subject headings. To say that this is a subject heading, you just put the two equal sides on equal signs on either side. I like to, to make it look nice, put a blank line before and after the subject heading. That's not really necessary because the computer handles all the spacing to make all the spacing very uniform and always look a certain way so that the website is more professional. That's how you do a subject heading. Let's look at another example. The next subject heading is list making. So if I scroll down over here, I see list making, two equal signs. This makes it a section heading. Now, 
in a complex document like this one, you've got little different levels of section heading. You've got the most important sections, but inside of the list making sections, we have subsections about list making about past or childhood events, list making about current stressors, and list making about personal characteristics. To indicate these subheadings, we do the same thing, but rather than putting two equal sign, we put three. So the subheadings have three equal signs instead of two. Um, and that's all you have to do. Uh, you just put the text, you put the equal signs, and you are good to go. Uh, and it handles, based on this information, it makes the table of contents up here. So you'll see like general thoughts, list making, and then you put all these subject headings and you can jump around and link to them. So anyway, here we are. Let's look at the next section. The next section is free or fast writing. And in this section, we have the bullet points. Now, the software is designed to be easy to use. So what's the easiest way to indicate that you have a bullet point? Well, you just start a new line, and then you start that line with something that looks like a bullet point. So that the software knows that you want a bullet point list. Something that looks like a bullet point is a star or an asterisk. It's above the eight key on your keyboard, and you just put that. I usually do a space to make it easier to read, and then you just type what you need to type. When you get to the end, you press enter, and here is a new list item. And we can save that in there. Uh, and we're not going to. <laughs> uh, but that's how you do a bullet point list. Okay, let's move down. The next section is about unsent letters. And it has links in it. Now, the first thing is this link to this wiki page, Unlearn Your Pain. But first, notice that Unlearn Your Pain is in, is in italics. To make something in italics, like unlearn your pain, you just put these two apostrophes on either side of it. Now an apostrophe is different than a double quote, it's right under the double quote on your keyboard. It's the same key, but you don't press shift for the apostrophe. Um, so you just press the apostrophe key twice, and that says, hey, start doing italics, and then you do it again at the end, and that says, hey, stop doing italics. So that's italics. But to links, this link, we have this link for Unlearn Your Pain. It is a link to the wiki page, Unlearn Your Pain. So you just put these two square brackets. They're located close to the quotation mark on your keyboard, to the apostrophe. Um, and if you want to link to the Unlearn Your, pa your Pain page, then it will handle that for you. You just put these square brackets on the other side. Now what's special about a link to Unlearn Your Pain is that this is a link to a page called Unlearn Your Pain on the wiki and the text that you want to display is called Unlearn Your Pain. So in that situation all you have to do is put these square brackets on. But usually, or often, sometimes, you'll want a link to a page um, and you may want to display slightly different text other than the page name. For example, the name of the page about Howard Schubiner is called Howard Schubiner, MD. That's what we're linking to. But we want to display Dr. Howard Schubiner because it flows a little bit more smoothly. To do that, what you do is in your square brackets over here, you put Howard Schubiner MD. That's the page that you're linking to. And then you put this vertical bar. It's right next to the square bracket. To do it, you press Shift backspace on your keyboard. So after the vertical bar, you do Dr. Howard Schubiner. Uh, the text that you actually want displayed. So again, to display Dr. Howard Schubiner, you put that after the vertical bar, and then the page that you want to link to before the vertical bar. And by the way, on that toolbar, that'll help you remember this stuff. I'll show you how to use it at the end. Another bullet point list, another section headings, some italics, but that's all the formatting information that we have so far. Um, not much, just more bullet points and stuff like that. Ah, here's something new. That on the left is a link to a website which is not on the wiki. It's not a link to a wiki page, it's a link to something else off-site. That's what that arrow means. It's not on, it's not a MediaWiki wiki page because it's a link to a different website, namely our old wiki. The new wiki doesn't have profile pages yet, so right now we have to link to the old wiki for those. How do you do that? You say, um, in, since it's a link off-site, 
you use a single square bracket instead of two and you put the URL that you're linking to and then you put a space and then you put the text that you want displayed and that's all there is to that again single square brackets the URL that you want to link to and the text that you want displayed okay next we do the hardest thing and I won't go into too much detail on this I'll talk about it later how do you do the blue boxes the blue bucket boxes involve these curly braces for something which are officially called um, templates they allow us to make special code which is used all over like we use these blue boxes all over the wiki and we want them all to be uh, formatted consistently so that we have a professional appearance so that our viewers trust us because we're representing PPD to the world so we need a professional appearance and templates will help us do that in a way that the old wet paint wiki couldn't do so this is a generic blue box so I made a template called generic box you do two girly two curly braces they're right above the square braces on your keyboard close to the double quote uh, then you write the name of the template generic box and then you do this vertical bar and then what's the contents of the blue box you just write contents equals to say hey this stuff that I'm doing next that's the contents of the blue box this is all the contents that goes in here notice you have a link so that's that looks a little bit weird but the only remaining thing is to say hey this is the end of the contents we finished up the blue box and you just do use two close curly braces to end the blue box now that might have been confusing if it is I'm sorry I'll do another video um, and I will explain uh, those there but I just want you to note at this point that we've done everything that we need to do um, oh I'm sorry there is one last thing is bold um, for bold if you want to indicate bold instead of using one apostrophe you do two apostrophes uh, so let me three apostrophes rather than two you do three so to show oh, hold on I got lost here for a second to show step one in bold you just put step one with three apostrophes on either side it's fairly straightforward step two three apostrophes on both sides both sides as well so anyway the last thing that I said that I would cover uh, in this short video is I want to cover the um, the toolbar because you may not be taking notes you may not remember this stuff uh, so how do we do this well if you want to put some bold text in you just press the B and it inserts a template and then you type um, step one or whatever it is that you want bolded in there if you want to do italics you just press on the italicized I and you type um, the uh, name of the book or whatever else that you want italicized in there you don't have to remember how many apostrophes if you want to do a link you just click on the link button and it pops up a dialog box this is hey what are you linking to well I'm learning to uh, linking to unlearn your pain um, and I'm linking to a wiki page so it, it knows that of course you may want to link to for example uh, let's see this is another link you may want to link to this URL so you just paste that in there and it says oh this is an external web page and say okay a great uh, software product external link and it handles all of that stuff for you and it makes the stuff uh, and that's that makes it quite easy um, headings in the toolbar they ca they consider those advanced I didn't think they were that hard you just put equal sign on either side but um, to get to them you have to click on the advanced thing and then you say hey I want a level 2 heading and now it creates the level 2 heading for you if you want to do a bullet point it puts the bullet point in sometimes we want numbered list instead of bullet uh, bullet point list you just use a number sign for that you can explore these it's got lots of great stuff uh, teaching you how to use it. it also teaches you how to use special characters gives you some help gives you a preview of the page we'll look at a preview of, of the havoc that I've wreaked so far you can see my extra heading I put in I'm not gonna save these changes anyway so at the end um, you will go back to the to the text and we will save the changes you just click on save pages and you're done hope you found this helpful I'm running out of time uh, if anyone has any questions don't hesitate to ask and uh, I'm really excited about this
talk to you later.